Okay, here's the fuel injector cleaner. Up on top we've got a power supply and the circuitry for driving it. This one here is the RPM arrangement and speed and duration. And then up underneath here we have the circuitry for the driving the individual injectors. We have the connector coming down feeding the electrical signal into the injectors and the return. We've got a fuel line coming up feeding a log for all of them. That is coming through a filter which is coming from this tank right here which is the supply tank. It comes out of the tank up this line through this black line which goes through the filter and then comes up and into the rail. Goes through the injectors when they're on, goes through some olive oil bottles, they're kosher, Manischewitz, goes into the bottom rail that has shutoffs. I'm going to take and shut those off. And what I'm going to do right now is prime the system. I'll make sure all my air is shut off. Okay. This puts about 45, 50 pounds of pressure into the system. And what I'm going to do is now close off this reservoir, which allows me to put air pressure in it and blow the fuel or the solvent that I've got inside this tank over into the supply tank. So I vent this side, close the vent on this side, and open the valve which blows the solvent, the cleaning fluid from this extinguisher bottle over into this one. It comes through a check valve right here and goes into the system. And there we go. We can hear the sound of it. Okay, so I'll open the vent on this side. Make sure the air is closed off on there. Close the vent on this side. Open up the pressure to pressurize the supply tank. And again, as you say, it's about 45, 50 PSI real close there. Okay, so now I go up to the top and click on and you can hear it clicking away. And you can kind of see it spraying there. Let's see if I can get a... can adjust the RPM and slow can adjust the flow, the dwell of the unit on or off. And there it's just continuous on or off. idle there. So you're filling up all of the bottles. 
and when you want to see how accurate it is, I haven't calibrated the bottles yet, but you can take and set it up here. I don't have the thing sitting on a level thing, it's just leaning against the wall kind of to one side, but you come over and you put this alongside each one of these and then you get an idea of the level of the fuel or the solvent in each one. This one may be a little bit low. Let me run it a little bit longer. We've got a 555 and a comparator. And there we're filling up. Okay, we'll shut it off for now and let it settle down. Maybe give it a little bit more of a straight angle. Yeah, that one's a little bit off. Okay, maybe it needs a little more cleaning through there. Okie dokie. See, I got a seat in an O-ring there. It popped out. Okay, 